Good day to all of you. The topic we are going to see in this video is pH measurement. pH it means the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration or the power of hydrogen. In short, we can represent it in the formula pH is equal to minus log of hydrogen ion concentration. So let us see how this pH is being measured in different samples. It's an important parameter to even determine the quality of water. It is expressed as pH is equal to 1 by log of hydrogen ion concentration. In pure water, if you see, the concentration of hydrogen ion is 10 power minus 7 gram per liter at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. So, the pH value is, when you substitute it in the formula, you can get pH is equal to 7 and because of that, the pure water's pH is 7. So, the advantage of using pH scale is that the activities of all the strong acids and bases can be brought down to a scale of 0 to 14. The pH value of acidic solution is in the range of 0 to 7 and alkaline solution in the range of 7 to 14. Let us see how we can determine the pH. There are three ways by which we can determine the pH. One is indicators, another one is by calorimetric method and the third one is pH meter. First, let's see about the indicator. They are substances which demonstrate the characteristic color properties. They show one color above a characteristic pH and another color below the pH range. So they are often used for pH measurement when high levels of accuracy are not required. So now this is replaced by the pH meters. In laboratory, we commonly use this litmus paper. Litmus dye is a natural pH indicator. When the litmus paper touches a base, then the litmus paper changes color depending on either it is a base or it is an acid. If a litmus paper is exposed to an acid, it either changes its color to pink or red. And if a strip of litmus paper touches a base, then the paper changes to a shade of blue. So this picture shows you how a litmus paper is changing in an acid or in a base. It exhibits characteristic change in color with change in pH. The other way by which we can measure the pH is pH papers. In laboratory, we very commonly use these commercially available pH papers which changes color according to the pH of the solution. The pH can be measured using reference electrodes. These reference electrodes, they use electrometric determination of pH. There are three reference electrodes which is being commonly used. The first one is hydrogen electrode. The second one is the calomel reference electrode. And the third one is silver-silver chloride electrode. The basic function of a reference electrode is to maintain a constant electrical potential against which deviations may be measured. The very important characteristics that a reference electrode should possess are they must be easy to construct and the potential which is developed must be reproducible even if small currents are passed. Hydrogen electrode is used as a reference electrode which can help in measuring the pH of a solution. The hydrogen electrode, it consists of a piece of platinum foil dipped in a 1M solution of hydrogen ions. The solution used to provide this hydrogen ion activity is 1.18 molar hydrochloric acid, which is the potential produced is dependent upon the activity and not the concentration. So, to increase its surface area, the platinum foil is coated with a platinum black. Hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure is bubbled over the platinum foil. The platinum strip saturated with hydrogen gas, it acts exactly as the metal electrode and 
It is dipped in a solution containing hydrogen ions. The arrangement in total is called as a standard hydrogen electrode and it is assigned a potential of zero under all conditions. Use of platinum in hydrogen electrode is because of the following reason. Platinum is relatively inert metal which does not corrode easily. Platinum has catalytic qualities which promotes the proton reduction reaction. And the surface of platinum can be covered with platinum black, a fine powder of platinum. And this type of platinum electrode is called a platinized platinum electrode. Platinum, it also improves the reaction kinetics by adsorbing hydrogen at the interface. The second one is the calomel reference electrode. This electrode, it consists of a strip of platinum sealed into glass and allowed to dip into mercury. A paste of calomel is held against the mercury by means of a sintered glass plug or a cotton wool. The whole electrode is filled with saturated potassium chloride solution. The calomel electrode is a half cell and it is represented by this following equation. The calomel electrode is extensively used as a reference electrode for pH measurement. This is easy to prepare and it's very cheap to construct and quite easy to maintain. The potential developed by this electrode is reproducible and constant. The third electrode used is the silver-silver chloride electrode. And this silver-silver chloride electrode, it consists of a metallic silver wire coated with silver chloride and immersed in a saturated potassium chloride solution. The potential of this system is derived from the primary reaction which is shown below. From the above equation, it becomes clear that the potential of the reference electrode is a function of the chloride ion concentration. In order that the chloride ion concentration remains constant at all conditions of humidity, a saturated potential potassium chloride solution is used. Electrical contact between the reference electrode and the solution being tested is maintained through a potassium chloride salt bridge. And this junction is made through a porous ceramic membrane embedded in the bottom of the reference electrode. This electrode is extremely easy to maintain and it develops a reproducible potential. And this is used as a reference electrode in most of the recent instruments.